Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you being here. Hi, hello. If this is your new, you're new. If you're new and this is your first time here, hi. How are you? It's good to meet you. And if you're returning, hello, welcome back. It is so great to see you again. And as always, you guys, if you want to book a personal reading with me, please go ahead and do so on the website address below. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Okay. Now let's get into it. This is for the week of October 23rd. And we are going to go ahead and use the um, cute ghost tarot or whatever the hell it's called. Because I just, look how cute it is. I cannot get enough. I cannot get enough. And it's our last spooky week. Well, I mean, in in my opinion, all weeks are spooky weeks. Um, but you do you. We got stuff happening this week, is what I'm saying, right? Okay. I think we technically, technically, I guess, Halloween, Salon next week, next Wednesday or something. So we do have half a week, whatever. You know what I'm getting at, honestly. Okay, let's get into it here, peeps. What do we got on the go for the collective for this week of the 23rd? Did someone flip? It's just my bad shuffling. All right. What do we need to know for the week of October 23rd? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff just popped out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, good. Nine of cups, strength, three of coins. Okay, 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 okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Loving it, loving it. Wish fulfillment. I mean, what's not to love with the nine of cups here, right? Um... However, I am getting kind of like, be careful what you wish for vibes, you know, um, stay strong. Your wishes are coming true. It just might get a, get a bit, it might take a bit for it to get here. Okay. Um, so stay strong. Keep the faith. That's what the guides are saying. Keep the faith. Trust it. I don't you just love this strength card. I think it's so pretty. Um, spend time with friends. I know last week we were kind of like, withdraw within don't socialize but like it's a good week for collaborations especially if those collaborations are going to bring us closer to a goal okay let's see what else we got here Patience is a virtue. Like we said, with the seven of coins here, we have to wait for things to take shape, for things to come to fruition. Yes, our dreams or our wishes are going to be coming true, but not yet. Okay. Let them take shape. Let them take root. Be patient. Stay strong. Keep the faith, right? So things are going to be taking a bit. Be patient. Things have to happen in a certain way. Timing is very important this week. Okay. Keep that in mind. Patience is a virtue. Things need to happen the way they're going to happen. Plain and simple. Yeah. Some of us might be dealing with some personal heartache. Some of us might be splitting with our partners. Some of us might be losing a friend or a loved one in whatever way. Right. Um, we could be grieving now. We talked about it last week. If you guys remember, we talked about that, um, letting go. Right. And you know, that was either belief system. Sometimes it was literally people in relationships. So it's kind of that strength that we're going through while we go through this heartache, while we grieve the losses that we released last week, even though it was for our highest and greatest good. Okay. it's okay. Right? It needs to be, it needed to happen, right? So stay strong. Stay strong. Let's see. What do we got as a clarifier for the queen of, or three of coins? Even though you may feel burdened, even though it might feel heavy this week, remember, we're ultimately bringing in what we wanted even though we had to deal with some heartache to get there and things feel burdensome and we may not want to ask for help. We may not want to ask for support. Please do so. Okay. Um, 
spend time with those that, you know, make you feel creative or that make you just feel supported, that make you feel happy. Okay. Um, some of us might just, you know, want to hang, not feel like it, but you know, collabing and being creative can be very, very, very helpful. Okay. And here's the high priestess card. She showed up last week too, right? We're getting into that more mystical, um, heightened psychic awareness, right? So the veil is very, very thin. So we're like connecting to the other side very, very, very easily. If this heartache is the loss of someone, like an actual physical death, great week to connect um, on the spiritual plane, either in dreams or meditation or however that looks for you. Again, with the strength card and with the three of blades um, and the five of sticks or the five of wands, it's going to feel like a fight this week. Again, you're not going to want to do anything. You're not going to want to see anybody. It won't feel like things are happening for us, but they are. And again, it's kind of like you're going to have to fight your own, um, fight your own nature. Okay. Again, there's going to be this want to just really dive in and just dig our heels in and do the woe is me, um, which is good. We need to address those feelings. However, not live there. Okay. So this is just your reminder to ask for help, ask for support. There is lots there literally willing to give their heart to you to support, right? So this is your reminder. You have a beautiful support system when things feel tough. Okay. Holding space here with the queen of cups. That's a very loving, nurturing, supportive energy. So you're reminded that you are supportive. Okay. But she's also creative and she's also very, very intuitive as well. So again, that heightenedness. Didn't the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess show up together last week too? Only the Queen of Cups was in reverse. Am I remembering that correctly? But like, she's upright this week. So not only is it loving and supportive and a little bit more um, controlled emotionally, but also the supports being given as well as the heightened intuitiveness. The two most intuitive cards of the deck have shown up twice in a matter of two weeks, right? So that's pretty big deal. Do I want to pull any more cards? No, I feel like, you know what we're going to do? This is something a little bit different for the channel. We don't usually do Oracle cards with these, but I feel like I want to pull just two of these Moonology messages to kind of go with this spread, right? Like it's just, this is a have faith. You're, you're strong. You can make it through your resilient kind of a week. Um, go easy on yourself and ask for help. Listen to your intuition, right? Fight your nature to, you know, not reach out. <laughs> You know, we're healing. It's a healing week and that's okay. So let's get some clarification or just some additional messages for this reading, for the collective, for this week. I don't even know if I'm in frame, am I? Jesus. Okay. Boundaries. Okay. Personal boundaries. And changes. Yeah. Yeah. Remember we talked about last week how we were literally in a transition phase? We're taking action and the transitions are happening. The changes are literally happening and there is some grief around it. Okay. Again, what they're, re they're referencing to me here, here with the boundaries is again that fighting yourself. Like, mm, how do I put this? Um, we're kind of going to want to withdraw and we got to set that boundary with ourselves. We're like, okay, we're going to let ourselves feel and process for two days and then we're going to reach out 
right? Set a hard boundary with yourself is you're going to let yourself grieve. You're going to let yourself feel the things, but you're also going to indulge in the real world. Because remember, we don't want to live in the grief. We still need to live, but we still need to process. So it's finding that balance and keeping hard boundaries with ourselves. Forcing ourselves to ask for help when we don't want to. Going against our nature of, no, I want to be by myself here. And we have releasing and this flipped over for whatever reason. So we have transformation. So again, just that reminder, we're still in the midst of a transformation here. We're still in the midst of um, releasing and dealing with the aftermath and the grief of that. But knowing that we're making room for our dreams, for what we really, really want, is just we need to remember to appreciate the support system we have and ask for help. Okay? So, but remember, intuition is super heightened right now. Like, and so are the emotions, though. All right. Appreciate you guys being here. Sending you all lots of love and support from me to you. Um, yeah. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon on the next video. Bye.